Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halach. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Monday, the 18th day of June, the 5th day of Tammuz. We're going to go on to a new unit now, and that is to discuss some of the laws that affect you during summer, and if you're going away to a summer camp and stuff like that. Okay, so here we go. I'll start with a quote from the Satma Rebbe. And the Satma Rebbe said that when you leave home and you go off to some summery place, don't ever, God forbid, have a feeling like I've left uh, my normal environ of Judaism and I'm now I'm like, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It's never like that for an aware Orthodox Jew because we always realize God is with us everywhere. In Vegas, at home, in summer camp, at a party or whatever, God is always with you. I'm an eighth grade teacher and we sometimes say to our kids, you know, if the principal's not there, it doesn't mean davening can be any looser. You're still davening to God and God is here all the time. And that's the same kind of feeling that you have to have when you go off to a summer camp or a vacation place or anything like that. Uh, if you're coming in from your outdoor uh, basketball game or whatever, you always have to prepare yourself before davening. And I must admit, I don't like to be hypocritical, I'm guilty of this too sometimes. The minion starts 10 o'clock and I arrive at exactly 9.59 and 50 seconds. That's not the way it's supposed to be when I do that or you do that or we all do that. It's not right. You should, you should arrive before davening and have time to settle your mind and think about what you're about to do. And uh, if you played ball, you need a change. You've got to get into proper clothing. Um, if you're all sweated up, you've got to wash yourself off because you can't just come off the basketball court all covered in sweat in, in your sweaty clothing. And you wouldn't stand like that in front of a king. Uh, the man I, I say a lot of these halachas from is this book here, Halachically Speaking. And uh, he says that you should always have your shirt tucked in for davening. Uh, I know there are people in Israel who, like, it's the standard look to have their shirts untucked, so you can discuss that with your rabbi, but according to him, the way he sees it, a tucked-in shirt, hey, that's how you'd walk in if you were walking into the President of the United States, and God is the President of all presidents and the King of all kings, so you should have your shirt tucked in. Now, off to some uh, brachos questions now, because they're sold in summer camps and canteens, but anybody needs to hear this anyway, so here we go. Potato knishes. Um, when it comes to making the proper, you go to a summer camp canteen, or for those of you who aren't in camp but eat knishes, so note this law. If a knish is like 90% potato, a lot, a lot of juicy mashed potato in it, and a very thin covering of mizonos uh, dough on the outside of it, then, according to that book, that's Rabbi Leibowitz, he says that you, what you should do is you should make two brachas. One for the mizonos, for the dough that's on the outside, and one for the adama, for the potato that's on the inside. But if you're buying that kind of potato knish, that is thick, thick, thick uh, dough on the outside, and just, uh, you know, not as much mashed potato on the inside, then it's a mizonos only. If you're having soft pretzels at one of your camp canteens, or anybody, anywhere, then the halacha is generally, if it tastes like bread, it'll need a hamotzi like bread. If it were to taste like cake, then yeah, it would be mizonos. But uh, Rabbi Leibovitz again says that most soft pretzels do resemble bread much more closely than they resemble um, cake, and therefore they would most often need a hamotzi. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more.